Hello, I'm Ann Borgard, the Ward 5 City Councilor, and it's Ward 5 and 10. It's, it's going by fast. I'm kind of casual today, and it's kind of a warm day. It's Tuesday, July 31st, 2018, and I hope everyone is having a super terrific safe summer. So let's talk about that safety right now. Just to be aware that um, there is mosquito spraying, and I want to emphasize that this mosquito spraying spraying does not endanger your pets and the bees, which a lot, I know a lot of people were um, understandably concerned about. So that is still available. You can contact or go online to www.plymouthcountymosquito.org, actually is what they do here, or .com, and that'll be able to give you the information, and they recommend that you have more than one individual in your neighborhood call, and they will work out a spraying schedule. And I just can't, cannot emphasize that enough, that this is not a toxic spraying that a lot of people associate with the mosquitoes. So let's continue to have a safe summer. And let's remember, summer goes by too fast, unfortunately. Want to remind everybody that uh, was kind of busy in July that there's still plenty to do, and there's still plenty of summer resource guides. They're available at the Parent Information Center or at City Hall. And Parent Information Center, by the way, is attached to the same building as the Board of Health on Crescent Street, diagonally across from what they refer to as Central, the main building administration for the school department. So here's this guide, and this guide has a whole lot, or you can visit uh, on www.brocktonpublicschools.com. So it's fun for the family, it's fun for everyone, a whole lot of great deals. Which reminds me that if anyone wants to be part of many super terrific things this August, you can be. Whether it's basketball on August 11th with um, the Project Guardian Angels and the police keeping kids going on the courts at East Middle School. That's Saturday, August 11th. Of course, unless it pours, and then I believe the rain date is August 12th. So check that out. Sooner than that is Saturday, August 4th, rain date. Uh, Sunday, August 5th, all ages and all abilities invited to the first annual Mark O'Reilly Memorial Swim Meet. Check this out. Coming in at about 9 in the morning to register uh, to participate. It doesn't cost you a thing. Join us as we have a good time with all our different skills, all our different ages, celebrating swimming. And this it can get you involved whether you just started the dog paddle or whether you're, a, a, how would I say it, on a swim team or were once before. This is a group of volunteers that want to recognize and get people involved with swimming because it's so good for everyone. So please come by and check that out. And also one of the primary sponsors here is the Downtown Broughton Museum at 138 Main Street. Come and check that out too. There's a whole lot going on in Ward 5. There's a whole lot going on in the city. And I'd like to mention both things here. Is everybody registered to vote? Because the election, get this, is September 4th. And there's an opportunity for early voting too. Are you registered? Then let's remember to do so because the deadline is fast approaching. If you want to make some extra money, well, the Election Commission wants to hear from you. Come on down to City Hall and fill out um, your information and you can be part of the team that helps elections run smoothly. And in one of 28 precincts, we're looking for you. So please consider being part of that and enjoying get, gathering some little spending money as the holidays approach. Okay, here we are in Ward 5. Everyone's still concerned about getting their streets paved. And guess what? We're still working on seeing that that happens. We have a few projects going on that um, are in the works, this always in the works thing, especially in the month of July. So it's like, wow. You can call me because I haven't said this before, 774-297-4939, or email me at aborgard, B-E-A-U-R-E-G-A-R-D, at C-O-B-M-A dot U-S. And as I always say, you're always, always welcome at all the community meetings in this city, whether it's Board of Health at 4 o'clock on the first Thursday of the month, whether it's License Commission that usually ends up being held twice a month, 
zoning board, planning board, oh man, conservation commission, and now that we have all this activity discussing the legalization of retail marijuana, join us for our ordinance meetings and watch what transpires. Remember, you always have five city councilors working for you. Your ward councilor and your four at-large councilors. J.B. Derencourt, Bob Sullivan, Moses Rodriguez, and Wynn Farrell. All these people are, part, are part, there to serve you. So do not hesitate to take advantage should um, you not re be able to reach your city councilor. Things happen, and sometimes you're in a non-phone um, zone or you know, have family things going on. There's never a dull moment in most of our lives, that I can assure you. So I want to encourage everyone to be safe on the streets with walking. Let's pay attention to the bike riders. Let's pay attention to the motorcycle riders. And let's pay attention to walk and don't walk signs, traffic lights, etc. We have a lot of activity going on with that as we catch up to painting all the crosswalks, adding new crosswalks. Again, one of the meetings I encourage a lot of people to come to is Traffic Commission. There will be more activity around the middle, um, East Middle School as they upgrade that area. They have to look into more, um, how would I say, lighting and letting you know, crosswalk and alerting individuals that. There's going to be more activity in the future. They're researching that now of the Crescent-Quincy intersection and right near going into toward uh, Whitman. Then we have our activity um, that we'll see more activity, more changes at Plymouth and Center Street intersection. And we're also going to be seeing some activity, before you know it, at Crescent and Lyman Street and Summer Street, not far from the Plouffe Academy. There's a whole lot going on. There's a whole lot to take advantage of. I also want to remind parents that if you have a little one or a bigger one that's going to be into going to a new school or starting school for the first time because you've just become part of our community, then you might, and we encourage you, to visit the BroughtonPublicSchools.com or take advantage of school committee members that can help you. In, in our case, in uh, Ward 5, it's uh, Judy Sullivan, and she'd be happy to help you navigate that. Her kids managed to uh, go through and graduate, and now they're doing quite well for themselves in their late 20s. So this is an opportunity for someone with experience to tell you what is going on. We always work closely together. Judy and I connect up every couple of weeks. Again, my name is Ann Borregon. I'm a Ward 5 City Councilor, and you're watching Ward 5 in 10. So you can reach me at 774-297-4939, or you can reach me at aborregard at cobma.us. There's still a whole lot going on. I will be having a ward meeting in September because there'll be so many more activities. Come September, the libraries will be open for longer and more days. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of activity there. I also wanna highlight that we have activity coming, going on downtown. We have a little pop-up festival that takes place Thursday and Friday nights, of course, weather permitting, with different music. It's free admission and there's food and drink that may be purchased there and it's you know fun for the family. It's fun if you just want to go and, and hang out for a little while. Usually the gates open around 5 and they close around 8. It's a great opportunity to listen to some free music and oh this week it's going to be the Drifters. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that Thursday night the weather works for us because that's kind of fun. Meanwhile, we have, um, I think I brought this up last month too, we have the Downtowner uh, newsletter and uh, that just opened up with a whole lot of what's going on in Broughton in downtown, which people say, you're kidding. No, there's a whole lot going on downtown. We have an art gallery of kids activities constantly going on at the library system. And remember, all this is free, so you don't have to break the bank. Okay, I'm being told I need to wind down. So remember, 774-297-4939. For those of you that I'm working with, uh, I haven't forgotten you. I try to balance things out and keep on going back and forth to people. I want people to pay attention to foreclosures, any kind of unique activity in their neighborhoods, and give me a call, 774-297-4939, or email me at aborgard at cobma.us. It's a pleasure to serve you. 
There's not enough hours in the day to do everything we like. Please continue to have a safe summer. Protect yourself from the sun and be safe, everyone, and get prepared for a beautiful fall. Thank you again.